So I've decided to level a um, another healer in Star Wars. Big shock, me playing a healing class. Uh, this time, uh, instead of focused on PvP healing, I was going to try instant healing. Instants, excuse me, since I can't speak. Um, so this is the first, uh, second instance in Star Wars. It's called Hammer Station. I was a little overpowered for this one. It's really like a level 19 to 20, and I'm level 25, I think, at the time I'm healing this. So um, I'm a little high. Uh, but I just wanted to get some experience with the um, healing dungeons or flashpoints in this case in Star Wars. And uh, that was the uh, kind of my focus was just to learn the dungeons because their instances are more like raids in Warcraft. Uh, low level dungeons in Warcraft are pure tank and spank. Everybody's over geared anyway in Warcraft any longer. Uh, so when you go into an instance they expect you to have it done in like three seconds and you kill every boss and you run out and you collect your loot and your stuff and go. Star Wars, you don't quite have that opportunity. They're a little more difficult. Uh, aggro table is tough to maintain. Uh, healing is not exactly easy because you can pull threat easily and it's no heal bot, no um, other healing methods outside of the point and click or keyboarding. So it's a little bit more of a challenge and actually much more entertaining. And the bosses have a lot of raid like. Um, um, I can't think of the term I'm looking for, but that's okay. They're more like raid bosses with ads and uh, insane abilities that are entertaining. This is the first boss in the instance, and he throws up tons and tons of ads that do lots of damage, and those ads need to be brought down. But again, since I'm a higher level, uh, I don't take too much damage from them, so it's a little bit easier for me to heal it. But if you're a level 19 healer, uh, healing this boss could be a little tough and tricky, so you want to avoid the ads to make sure they go down. and. Uh, DPS that boss down fast and make sure DPS is on the money. So watch the first boss and I will give you a little more background on the next one. Thanks a lot. This fight was a lot easier. It was more like a Warcraft instance. Uh, it was tank and spank. Take out the ads, kill the boss. It was pretty much the method we used. They tried to have me CC it. Uh, the tank broke the CC. Uh, and we downed it fairly easily. Uh, again, nothing too complicated, but it was a fun fight. I enjoy enjoy good fights in games, and uh, especially uh, PvE fights. They can be entertaining as well as the PvP aspect. So, um... Again, this is kind of a short, sweet fight, but it was a lot of fun. As you can tell, this fight is fairly simple. Uh, if I can throw in some DPS, I mean, I'm able to uh, do some damage to the one add. So I, this this boss fight is not the most strenuous or hardest to heal. I think uh, even a low level healer could manage this one fairly easily.
final boss in Hammer Station is kind of tricky. Um, one, you don't want to tank him near the edge because he will knock you off and kill you in a New York minute. So you want to pull him forward away from that ledge. Two, there's going to be all sorts of crap on the floor. Red dots, red, red dots, green dots. Uh, green will blow you back. Red will hurt you. So you want to stand off any, stand away from stuff on the floor. I mean, typically don't stand in the fire. Uh, no, I used to get yelled at all the time when I started raiding. Don't stand in the fire because I was notorious for it. Uh, so if it's on the floor, you don't stand in it. You run away. Uh, he will summon adds periodically. The adds need to be downed immediately. Then you go back to the boss. That's the basic tactic of the fight. Heal, heal, heal. Don't stand in anything. Uh, kill the adds. Attack the boss. Keep the boss away from the ledger. He will knock you off because he does a really vicious blowback. Um, it's a fun fight. It really is. I, somebody actually died in this fight on me. Despite the fact that I'm a high level healer, I just couldn't get to him fast enough to heal him. Um, excuse me, sage healing. Um, in Star Wars, uh, you don't have a really... I mean, you have a big heal, um, but it takes a long time to cast it. And your short heals um, don't put up enough health. If somebody's down a couple points and you throw a short heal on them, yeah, but it uses tons of uh, force or mana, depending on how you want to look at it. Uh, force is more like energy in Warcraft. So uh, you have a set amount and... Uh, it regenerates fairly quickly, but you only have so much to work with, so you have to um, manage your force well. Uh, so it's one gentleman, or one character I, I let go, sadly, but um, we were near the end of the boss fight, so it was easy to uh, get him down and get the gentleman res back up. But um, this fight is a lot of fun. Um, if you're a low-level healer, you're gonna, he's going to do an AoE uh, damage right off the top and take everybody down to half health, so get prepared for that. Uh, if you can bubble everybody before the fight starts, that's great. Uh, help them reduce a little bit of that damage and then go in and start the fight. Would be my advice if you're a sage. So make sure everybody has that bubble up on them. Take a few seconds, then go in. Again, since I'm a tab at OP, um, I do have the rejuve ability so I can do a quick uh, pot on everybody to keep, it, keep their healths up. So it was a little bit easier for me on this fight. Again, if I was lower level, it would be a little bit of a struggle. And you'd really have to pay attention to what you were doing and really focus your healing and heal smart. Um, again, watch the fight. Uh, thanks for watching Hammer Station. Uh, uh, if you have any questions, please feel free to ask, comment, like the video. Again, share this with your friends. I'm trying to get my channel a little bit more attention. and I'm trying to get a little bit more dynamic um, uh, videos in here for people to watch and enjoy. Again, thank you for taking the time to watch this.